Rent a bike in VNT. The other day I was like, when I discovered this over here and I came down the trails, I thought, oh, this island is going to be a sick trail for people, but yeah, you need to check out off-road bike, a dirt bike, not even on the scooter, it's sandy. But this track is good because this road over here and the sidewalk, like, it's very narrow and there's people trying to go both ways. To find you. Today is the top part. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light to guide you. style looking pretty easy to tell and yeah then you'll get past those and there won't be any bars for a minute just get little restaurants little bits and pieces hotels and it gets even better and better down here start of all the Lao restaurants. Look at them. It's packed. It's not even that packed yet. Still full. And then down Hizer. We got people drove their cars, trucks down. Sweet. Bring some beer, bring the grill, barbecue. With the homies. Guess you get in the river and have a swim, but yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's surreal. The Mekong River right here. Remember when I said this is like just kind of the start? Let's, let's get on.
guess I'm gonna have to come to one of these restaurants and show you the menu and how to order. When I keep thinking about that. I'm telling everybody, hey, go here, go there, have a real loud experience, and people are probably gonna say, well, how do I order, man? That's why I gotta go to these English speaking joints. Well, we're gonna solve that for everybody. Because one, it's gonna be way cheaper and more interesting. You get to experience like eating amongst loud people rather than just at the bars targeting foreigners. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Go have fun. Here. But for something different. snacks are a little different than what Western beer snacks would be. I mean, they, every, every barbecue has beer, so let's get that straight. First of all, this is, but sometimes people, they're not sure what they're looking for, and then they think that, oh, loud people only serve, like, gnarly beer snacks when, like, every barbecue place has beer, so you can find delicious barbecue and yeah some of them like these small ones sometimes the only barbecue snacks they have is like intestines and chicken butt and 
Well, the chicken butt is good. Sometimes it's got a funk to it. <laughs> what do you expect? It's chicken booty. But it's good. The intestines and then they'll have all kinds of stuff. Not, you know, it's just all like <laughs> the parts that you're like, all right. And I feel adventurous. Not that they're bad. It's just... Hey, I bought a piece of meat the other day that like straight up. Not my favorite thing. Like I'm just gnawing down on some flesh. You really feel like an animal. Like in a way it's like I can't believe this is what I gotta do to be healthy. But we've reached the end here. I tried to figure out that's good barbecue. All kinds of good meat right there. I think I'll have to do a video to show people what they're looking for because I think a lot of people just haven't been around real meat back home. And yeah, I'm sure the meat is different here. But then also it's much fresher. Like people are buying meat from the grocery store back home. It's been farmed and Lord knows I worked in the I worked as a butcher back home in the department store and it uh yeah. Uh, I know. Who knows how long it's a transport that's in the freezer and any, whatever else. So the meat looks weird to people I've heard when they come and they don't dare eat it but like yeah. You're not gonna eat barbecue for real? Like, what blows my mind is if it was being sold back home, people would be like, Oh my god, ethnic food, this is amazing. But they get over here, and because they're not at home, they immediately just think, this is stupid shit, like they're going to get sick. And then they go get a salad and get sick. Because the meat is actually fresh, and it's cooked and clean, where vegetables get bacteria and, and, and crap super easy from the weather here. It's very hard for them to be clean and fresh right out of the garden. So I hope you all consider looking at the meat, asking, I'll teach you how to ask what you're looking at. It's unbelievable barbecue. Pork ribs, grilled fish, grilled pork, grilled chicken, grilled duck. <laughs> and so people will have their own different takes on the, the marinade that they've used or the base, whatever, to before they grill it. So unlimited, unlimited barbecue here. Bust. Glad we've taken care of that myth that the meat is scary here and you can't eat it. I like to come back down the right side because usually if you're on the other side on the way up, then you don't see all the interesting things down on the river bank. Now we can see.
other whatever other Lao food I feel like eating. Real chicken, duck, fish, whatever. Game all night. Standard is all that protein. But I uh, I'm keeping it cheap. I was down below the bank down there. Now we're up on the main road, Riverside, Kam Kong. Everybody calls it here, which means yeah, Riverside. So, yeah. And there's lots of restaurants and bars. Every, every place to walk the park first. And amazing food. More pricey than normal because it's on the river side, but not crazy. No music on yet, it's not even dark. Gorgeous out here this time of year. if you want to try to talk to each other. If you could turn the music down a little bit, then it would be freaking awesome. It is a trouble with some places. Like, even one of the nightclubs that I've been to once, Disco Tech or whatever, it's, uh, they weren't playing like that bad. The music was actually decent, but it was just unbearable. Like, you can't talk, you, you can't communicate whatsoever. Yes. Probably just hangry. <laughs> I'll see how this video turns out. Onwards to some food. 